Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study an aspect of elementary algebra where we are told to show that a cube minus b cube is equals to a minus b in bracket multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square in another bracket, right? Hence expand s cube minus 8 now what you do is this solution recall we know that a cube minus b cube can be found in a minus b or cube now if i expand this it's me having a minus b into brackets multiplied by another a minus b in bracket multiplied by another a minus b in bracket that is i'll put a minus b in three places because it has the power a minus b has the power of three now if i rewrite this we know that a minus b times a minus b will give us a minus b all square so we now have a minus b in bracket multiplied by a minus b in all square a minus b in bracket all square right so this is what i'm having now if i might if i multiply if i expand a minus b all square i am going to be having a minus b in bracket multiplied by a square minus 2ab plus b square that is what I'll have when I expand a minus b or square, I'll be having a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now, if I expand again a minus b in bracket multiplied by a square minus b minus 2ab plus b square, what I'm going to be having will be the first a in the first bracket multiplied by the first a in the second bracket that has that mean i mean a square will give us a cube right minus how if i multiply the first a of the first bracket multiplied by minus 2 a b of the second bracket it will give us minus 2 a square b because the a of the first multiplied by the a of the second will give us a square and we have a b there already now minus b times my uh, a times what b square will give us what a b square that is the a of the first bracket multiplied by the b square of the second bracket that will give us a b square note in front of the b we have plus and in front of the a we have plus that is why we're having plus a b square now i'm going to minus b of the first bracket now i'm done with a now i'm going to minus b now minus b of the first bracket multiplied by a square of the second bracket will give us minus a square b why in the first bracket b has minus but in the second bracket a has a square has plus in front of it now, if you multiply minus times plus, it will give us minus. That's what we're having. Minus a square minus a b. Right? Now, the next one, minus b times minus 2ab. Now, what do you notice? We have minus in the first bracket in front of b. And we have minus in the second bracket in front of 2ab. So minus times minus give us plus. So we're having plus. So b times 2ab will give us 2ab square. Because the b of the first bracket times the b of the second bracket will give us what? Square. So we're having what? 2ab square. Now, the same minus b of the first bracket times plus b in the b square in the second bracket will give us minus b cube. You see, in front of the b in the first bracket is negative. And in front of the b square in the second bracket is positive so minus times um, plus will give us minus that's what we're having minus then b times b square will give us what b cube so this is what we have 
Now, if you collect like terms with what we have here, it will give us the a cube is there. Now, if you look at 2a squared b, it is the same thing as saying a squared b. They are like terms. But in front of the a squared b, I'm having 1 in front of it. And in front of the a squared b here, I'm having 2. So, minus 2 minus 1 will give us what? Minus 3. So, we're having what? That means minus 2a squared b minus a squared b will give us minus 3a squared b if you add those two. Now, similarly, a b squared plus 2ab squared is the same because they are like terms, like having ab squared is the same as saying ab squared here. So, we have 2ab squared plus ab squared is going to give us 3ab squared. Then, minus b cube. Now, the next thing we'll be doing is, if I now rewrite this, I'm going to be having my, therefore, my a minus b all cube will now give me a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube, right? Now, if I make a cube minus b cube the subject, that means in the left hand in the right hand side of the left tweet, every other thing will go to the left hand side. So I'll now be left to it a cube minus b cube, right? And I have a minus b cube in the right hand side. So when 3a square b is going to the right hand side, it changes its negative sign, it becomes positive. So I'm going to have plus 3a square b. Now, when 3ab squared positive is going to the right hand, left hand side, I'll have minus 3ab squared because the positive will turn towards negative. So, equals to what? This a cube minus b cube. Now, the next thing I'll do here is to factorize. Now, if you look at between a squared b minus 3ab squared, what is common there is 3ab. Now, if I bring out my 3ab out, I'll be left with what? A minus B. Right? So I'll be having A minus B all cube plus 3AB into bracket A minus B. Because you multiply 3AB times A, we have 3A squared B. If you multiply 3AB times B, we have minus 3AB squared. So we just factorize this. Is that okay? So how? Let me show you. We go to the side of your paper here. If I have 3a squared b minus 3ab squared. If I bring 3ab out from the bracket, means I'm going to divide both sides by 3ab. So if I do that, you notice it. 3ab will cancel and 3ab will cancel out 3ab. So I'll be left with what? A minus b. That is how I come about this. So let's proceed. So, we say that we're having a minus b all cube plus 3ab into bracket a minus b equals to what a cube minus b cube. That is what we have there. Now, if you look at this now, in the, in the two sides of the positive sign, I have a minus b cube. I have a minus b and I have a minus b. If I bring out a minus b from the bracket, I'm going to be having a minus b into bracket. Since I remove a minus b, the 3 will reduce to 2. And the a minus b here will remove. I'll be left to what? 3ab. So I'll be having a minus b into bracket a minus b all square plus 3ab equals to what? a cube minus what? b cube. Now, if you do that, if I expand a minus b square, I'm going to be having, from here I have a minus b into bracket. If you expand a minus b square, you'll be having a square minus 2ab plus b square. Then plus this 3ab here equals to what? a cube minus b cube. Now if you call it like terms, you'll be having a minus b in bracket multiplied by a square now, if you look at minus 2ab plus 3ab, it gives us plus ab, then plus b squared also. So, this is my expansion equals to what? 
a cube minus b cube. So when you expand a cube minus b cube, you'll be having a minus b into bracket multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square. Now we've proved. But we are now told from here we should find s cube minus what? 8. Right? So this is what we are going to do. Now, from our expansion, we are told to simplify s cube minus 8. Now we know that s cube minus 8 is the same, it equals to s cube minus 2 cube because 8 to a number in base 2 give you 2 to the power of what? 3. Recall a cube minus b cube is equals to a minus b into brackets multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square into brackets. I will tap that my equation one. Now comparing s cube minus 2 cube and a cube minus b cube we discover that a in the right hand side is equals to x in the left hand side and b in the right hand side is equals to 2 in the left hand side. Now substitution into equation above we we'll say that anywhere I see a in equation 1 above I'm going to put x and anywhere I see b in equation 1 above I'll put 2. So this will give me s cube minus 2 cube right because x in equation 1 is a in equation 1 is x and b in equation 1 is 2, just like what we said here. So we'll be having s cube minus 2 cube equals to x minus 2 into bracket multiplied by s square plus 2x plus 2 square. Now I've replaced all the a and b, I have my equation 1 by x and 2. That's why I'm having this equation here. So if this will now give me x minus 2 in bracket multiplied by s squared plus 2x plus 4 because 2 squared is 4 and this is what we're having. So that is the simplified form of s cubed minus 8. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also click on the like button. Thanks for watching.